In this video I'm going to show you how to open a raw file in Adobe Photoshop Elements 5 and how to exploit some of the good features of the raw file. Um, as you may know the raw file contains information in a depth of 12 bits whereas most JPEG files are down at 8 bits. So that 12 bit file actually gives you the equivalent of a four stop bracket around your original exposure and gives you a chance to uh, make the most of your photographs. As you can see this one uh, in front of you, the sky is overexposed with not a lot of detail. Um, and what I'm going to do is produce uh, a JPEG file which uh, makes the most of the detail that's actually here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually set the correct color temperature. Now for that you choose the eye drop and then we need to find something that's either black grey or white and for the purposes of this I'm going to choose the black tire down here which is probably our best bet and you see there that the color temperature changes quite dramatically and this is now the true color temperature for the photograph. I'm now we're going to show you how to make the best of the exposure. Now for that I'm going to move the exposure slider while pressing the ALT key with my left thumb at the moment and what you will see is in fact the whole image blackens apart from where the highlights are. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to auto exposure until I'm just losing detail in the sky which is the only bit of high exposure which I really want to keep. Again with the shadows keeping my thumb on the alt uh, key we can now look at the shadow detail I can see here where the whole thing is clipping and losing detail if you keep one eye on the histogram at the top I think you can see that we are going to lose some detail in the shadows whatever we do in order to use the other facilities of Photoshop you need to save the thing at 8 bits per channel, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to open it now into the workspace. 